The, uh, the current frontrunner, Mitt Romney, hasn't exactly hit it off with conservatives. Certainly, he's, he's the frontrunner after all. But part of it, perhaps, is the health care plan that he uh, pushed forward when he was governor of Massachusetts. Perhaps it's uh, his call for indexing the minimum wage, which some conservatives don't like. In your speech last night, uh, we certainly detected an implicit criticism of both parties, but the GOP as well. What should Romney or Gingrich or Rick Santorum do or say that they're not saying? Be yourself, be bold, and be specific, and be sincere. And I'm not saying they're not doing that, but I'm saying that's the secret to this, I think. Um, I think all of these candidates have gotten a lot better. Um, I think Romney has, has really done some remarkable things on entitlement reform. Uh, he's been remarkably bold on leaning forward on those issues, on, on being willing to embrace what, what are controversial and politically risky positions. Um, and so we're in this nomination fight where they're all sort of trying to one-up each other right now, and that's just the way these things go. But, you know, you can talk about the Massachusetts health care, and, you know, I think a lot of people have issues with the design of that. I think he's been pretty darn clear about his position on, on the president's health care law its differences and, and the federalism argument. The minimum wage thing was so recent that I don't think that that's really affected much. I think it's that Republican uh, primary voters, um, you know, are waiting for a Ronald Reagan. And, um, you know, I don't think Ronald Reagan today was who he was then. You know, it's just that we've built up these expectations and there is just no such thing as a perfect candidate. Could Ronald Reagan you know? get the nomination in today's party? Because we love Ronald Reagan, sure. <laughs> <laughs> His name was Ronald Reagan, yeah. But you, sure, you, the answer is yes. Um, meaning, that was a man who spoke with conviction and passion, who articulated the, the, the founding principles, and who offered bold solutions. The point of my speech last night was, in 80, he, 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 offered, he offered an economic package of prosperity and pro-growth, uh, a rollback of Soviet communism and the talk of the detente, bold colors, sharp differences with Jimmy Carter, and the country in 1980, which I was, you know, a kid then, um, had a really bright line, clear choice of two futures, a contrast. That's the point I'm trying to make, mm -hmm. is I think it's in our interest, but more importantly, I think we owe it to the country, and it's in their interest to have a party, meaning the Congress, and, and Congress is important here, it's not insignificant, and the nominee, offer that kind of a bold agenda. So, so, so the country gets to choose. Mm -hmm. 